Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Kevin Small and today we have the gaming news that Marvel's Midnight Suns has been delayed. This is the turn-based tactical game with also some card elements by Firaxis Games, the creators of Civilization and XCOM. And this was first, well not really rumored, but confirmed by the Take-Two shareholder conference this evening and then got officially confirmed by the developer with a statement. And I would say we are taking a look at the statement itself, shall we? Hey everyone, on behalf of Forexus Games, thank you for sharing just how excited you are for Marvel's Midnight Suns. We have been thrilled to see your reaction to everything from our announcement of the game to the reveal of our card-based tactical combat. Marvel's Midnight Suns is a true dream project for the team and we can't express what an honor it is to create something new in the Marvel Universe. We decided to share that we have made the very tough decision to move our launch window to the second half of 2020 instead of March 2020. We know many fans were looking forward to playing the game originally next spring and this decision did not come lightly. We decided to push our launch because we need more time to make this the best game possible. We believe in our creative vision for Marvel's Midnight Suns and want to do justice in delivering an unforgettable adventure set in the supernatural side of Marvel. These extra months will be used to add more story cinematics and overall polish and will be essential in helping us make our vision a reality. Thank you for your understanding. You're the best fans in the world. Jake Solomon, creative director and Garth DeAngelis, senior franchise producer. So this doesn't really come to a surprising and this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the game itself, but People were already wondering which game might be postponed because A, we have like tons of games coming out by the end of February and the beginning of March, but, and this is the most interesting part here, Take Two had three big games for the whole year coming out in March. So it was not just, hey, we have three games coming out, they had only three games planned for 2022 and they would all come out in March. And well, from a pure business perspective, you don't really do that. So people were already like questioning which game will get postponed. And well, it would definitely not be GTA 5 because that remaster is already set. And so there were only two options left and it seems like that Marvel, Avenger, uh, Marvel Avengers, oh God, totally different game. Marvel Midnight Suns is actually the game which got the short end of the stick. Well, not really the short end of the stick. Like, it's not really that this is a problem, right? Like, the game gets some extra time to cook. And if we have learned one thing in the recent years, the longer a game gets, the better. I think there has never been a moment where a game released and I was like, huh, I wonder why this game actually took longer. There was no need for that. I never had that because it was the opposite most of the time when the game came out and we all thought, well, this game should have been probably taking a little bit longer to be released. <laughs> Cyberpunk. And... So I'm I'm seeing this absolutely positive here. But it seems like it's not just polishing, but they're also talking about adding more story and more cinematics. So it seems like there are still some gameplay elements missing and it's not just the overall bug fixing and polishing and all that. So yeah, it seems like that the project was just not ready overall and not just bug fixing and all that. So yeah, it's unfortunate. Now it's the second half of 2022. That's always a gamble a little bit for the gaming companies because most of the time gaming companies do not really know what's coming out in the second half of that year. And well, even though they are a 
good chunk of gaming companies who always say, nah, we are not releasing our games because of other games, or we are not postponing our games because like another big game is coming out. I was like, oh, come on. No, of course you were doing it. Like, there are enough developers who have already admitted that they are actually looking for other releases. And it makes sense. Like, nobody wants to release it the same day as, let's say, Elden Ring. Right? Like, nobody wants to do that. And I can already tell you that Saints Row, which is releasing it the same day as Elden Ring, uh, definitely doesn't want to do that. So, it's a, it's a pretty normal process. But releasing your games in the second half is always a little bit of a gamble. Because you don't know what else is coming out there. But in the end, like take a time with it. I'm still looking forward to it. I will definitely play it because what I have seen from the game so far is absolutely exciting and I want to get more. And if they plan some extra time with it, cool. I'm totally okay with that. With that said, if there is an update, if there will be probably more gameplay trailers or streams in the foreseeable future, you will also see them here on my channel. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, if you're on your way out, don't forget to like. If you didn't like this video for whatever reason, well, this like button is right next to it. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more gaming news in general, more Marvel's Midnight Suns, more reaction videos, more tips and tricks for new games, then you came to the right channel and I would appreciate if you might consider to subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a ton. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.